When can women have a hair transplant? Hair transplants are often what people think of first when they think of hair restoration. Many women with female pattern hair loss who consider hair transplant are often not candidates for hair transplant surgery. A diffuse pattern of hair thinning is characteristic of female pattern hair loss. Since hair transplantation requires making multiple small incisions into the scalp, there is a high risk of permanent loss of significant amounts of existing hair for women with diffuse hair thinning. This is in contrast to male pattern hair loss where hair is transplanted to bald, non-hair bearing skin. There are some situations where a hair transplant can be performed for women. I'm Dr. Amiya Prasad. I'm a board certified cosmetic surgeon and fellowship trained oculofacial plastic and reconstructive surgeon. I've been in practice in Manhattan and Long Island for over 20 years. I've been performing hair transplant surgery throughout my career. I'm also the founder of Trichostem Hair Regeneration Centers, which is a non-surgical treatment for male and female pattern hair loss, which I developed from technology originally used to improve the outcomes and results of hair transplant surgery. Female pattern hair loss, telogen effluvium, and hormonal changes such as pregnancy and childbirth are the most common causes and factors affecting hair loss in women. In a typical female pattern hair loss, the hair thins diffusely throughout the scalp. Female pattern hair loss is the most common cause of hair loss in women. It actually affects about 30% of women under 50 and about 50% of women over 50. Traditionally, the only treatments available for female pattern hair loss were minoxidil and spironolactone. Minoxidil allow for a delay in the natural hair shedding cycle and extends the hair growth cycle so more hair is on the scalp. I find that most of my female pattern hair loss patients do not see any benefit and abandon minoxidil use. The drug spironolactone is often prescribed as a testosterone blocker and has limited to no benefit as reported to me by patients who were placed on this drug before coming to see me. We have been able to treat female pattern hair loss successfully since 2011 with our Trichostem hair regeneration treatment. This is a non-surgical injection treatment so the collateral loss associated with hair transplant is not an issue. The treatment is comprised of primarily a platelet-rich plasma, a concentration of healing and growth factors found in your own blood, and a combination with extracellular matrix produced by the company Acel. Extracellular matrix is an advanced wound healing material first used in regenerative medicine and surgery. For female pattern hair loss, we have achieved an over 99% success rate with this treatment, with patients showing visible improvement in hair coverage and density by the thickening of thinning hair and the stimulation of growth from hair follicles that were previously not growing. The benefits are seen for three to five years with only one injection treatment. Some patients benefit from a second treatment we call the booster at 18 months or so after the first treatment. There are some situations where hair transplant can be done for women. Severe or advanced pattern hair loss where the hair part has widened significantly and resulted in smooth, almost bald areas of scalp for more than five years, these are areas that can be transplanted. Transplantation would be limited to areas of mostly smooth scalp with little to no nearby native hair to minimize collateral loss. Another condition is traction alopecia, where constant tension on the hair follicles can cause permanent hair loss. Traction alopecia is common in people wearing 
consistently tight hairstyles like braids or tight ponytails. I've had patients see me who are older who try to tighten their facial and forehead skin by pulling their hair tightly. This led to a lot of hair loss. A transplant is the only way to restore hair where there are no hair follicles. The use of chemicals like hair relaxers can result in permanent loss of hair follicles. In some cases where the hair has thinned due to chemical use, we have been able to make a significant improvement for women with trichostem hair regeneration treatment. Another procedure is hairline lowering. Hairline lowering is primarily for women who feel their hairline is too high or too much of their forehead is exposed due to a lack of hair. Hairline lowering is approached like any hair transplant with adjustments for the area of the forehead as is appropriate. In hairline lowering procedures, patients should expect to have more than one procedure to achieve a natural looking density. There are fewer options to treat pattern loss for women when compared to men. For example, the drug finasteride can be effective for men but does not have any role in female pattern hair loss management. The work we did to develop trichostem hair regeneration has successfully helped women, the majority of whom would not be candidates for hair transplant surgery, address their hair loss without surgery. I hope you found this information helpful. Thank you for your question. Thank you.